free speech or die, Portland. You got no safe place. This is America. Get out if you don't like free speech. Jeremy Christian entered the courtroom to face murder charges defiant and angry. Police reports say he is seen on surveillance camera yelling racial and anti-Muslim slurs at two teenage girls on a commuter train before stabbing three good Samaritans who were trying to stop him. He killed two of them. Micah Fletcher, the surviving victim, sat in court. He told investigators Christian threatened to decapitate people. Army veteran Marcus Snipe stopped the bleeding in Fletcher's neck, saving his life. I had him kind of close to my own chest, and I was like, okay, you need to match my breathing. Slow, steady breaths. This hatred is being imported. Mayor Ted Wheeler fears Christian's case could act as a catalyst for more violence between extremist groups. Next week, there is a uh, alt-right protest right outside of City Hall, and I have called on the federal government to pull the permit. The timing isn't right. My Joey power. Gibson has organized pro-Trump rallies around can. Oregon that have erupted in violence. Jeremy Christian showed up to one of his rallies last month with a bat. Gibson says his group has nothing to do with Christian. Can you assure people that your group won't incite that violence? I cannot ensure that some crazy person is going to show up and make a horrible decision. I can't, I, I can't control everybody. I can promise the city of Portland that I'm going to do everything in my power to promote peace. Since President Trump's election, Portland has seen 30 protest marches and rallies, most peaceful, but there have been violent clashes between extremist groups, resulting in nearly 150 arrests and a million dollars in property damage. The mayor believes President Trump's actions and language are partly to blame. I think this has always been under the surface, and I think he's just ripped the Band-Aid off and given license to a lot of those feelings that have been there just under the surface. The mayor did ask that Sunday's permit be revoked, but he has yet to hear back from the federal government. The police chief tells me from now until then they will be on high alert. We also know that the Department of Homeland Security is closely watching the city of Portland, especially after all of those recent violent rallies. Mireya Villarreal, CBS News, Portland, Oregon.